Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good night, wherever you are. Simone Bailey Campbell here, visual artist, furniture designer, and candle maker, coming to you live and direct from my studio. And welcome to the journey. This channel is a place where I get to explore all my artistic shenanigans. So buckle up, guys. You're in for a ride. So the project I'm currently working on is called The Woman I Love. And welcome back to all those who have seen the previous video videos and welcome newcomers. This project is called The Woman I Love and it comprises of 31 women who I personally know and love. Each lady gives me their word whatever word it is and um, from that word I um, come up with a concept for the portrait that's just to give you some backgrounds on the parameters of this project I'm doing a line drawing of the generous one she is one of my three amigos as I call them my ride and die girlfriends but this video, this is actually my second go around. Sometimes after doing the first one and I get a feeling for what the portrait is telling me, then I do a second one and see if I capture something else or, so, or even do it better. And then there are times when it just doesn't work and it's a total failure. And as I said in the beginning, this channel is about the journey. Nay, nee, it's not a highlight reel. And because my intention of this channel is to document the journey, I think it is only right for me to show you the not so pretty side, the ugly side, the frustrating side of the entire process. I am going to implore you to watch the first video of the generous one so i'm going to put the link above and the link in the description for you to go and watch it if you haven't seen it already because only after you have watched the first one can you understand the scope of the second one because we're about to go over into the dark side and preparation is key so here we go Now I'll just do a little recap in case you haven't seen the first one. Um, the generous one is a straight shooter. Papai, papai! Gunshots, if you know what I mean. She'll give it to you straight, right between the eyes. However, she is also loving and sweet and generous. And wonderful and kind and beautiful which is why I love her so much because she's so because she's just both of those things we're all such layered complex human beings in the first portrait I captured that glow it was just a, a real beautiful inner glow that kind of came out in the portrait you know the portraits the portraits speak for themselves they it they tell you what they want to be and who they are no matter what idea I have in my head at the beginning and so in this iteration I wanted to capture that glow but even make it lighter and brighter and use more pinks and more yellows and oranges to get the to get that feeling and i believe i was on the right track at this point
I wanted that beautiful pink glow underneath the skin. I wanted the sunshine and the light to just glow from our head. It seems so simple at the time. Sometimes the artwork feels a little wonky, but the best part about doing these kind of project is that sometimes wonky becomes the really beautiful part of the entire piece. And so sometimes we just got to let it flow. So I'm using the wet on wet process here. I think that's what it's called where the paper is wet and the paint is wet and I like when it flows and I could have stopped it here but no this is where the whole thing goes off track and instead of having that beautiful glow to her I think I just set her on fire not in the nicest way and I just kept digging and digging into the corner of that eye relentlessly I guess I felt that if I got a very strong contrast that would help to you know pop something on our face yes I said pop not punch her in the face but you know I just kept digging into the eye and then I kept digging into the other eye at the wrong part of the eye and it just looked like her eyes were black and blue when I was done with this. I wish I could explain to you exactly what was happening at this point, but at, but at a certain stage you're into like a crazed momentum that you just can't stop. It's like after the car goes off the cliff, you just have to, you just, the momentum just has to go until it, it comes to a crashing halt. Maybe this is the point where I could have stopped it. Maybe. 
but the momentum is way too strong. This is the part of the ride where you think it's over, but then you realize that you're just getting into the next gear. Hold on, folks. Hold on tight. Okay, I know the generous one looks like she just got possessed <laughs> by a demon. However, Okay, just listen to my thinking at this point, please. So I had this idea of making making the face just like in black and gray, like gray tones. Even though it had the warmth underneath it, <clears throat> so it wouldn't, it wouldn't come across as cold. But I wanted to make the, the face like you know black and white I just thought it was a good idea at the time okay but I'm so sorry I'm so sorry the generous one I'm so sorry this looks really bad however don't watch that as we say because sometimes the piece goes through its very ugly period there's a part when you're painting where it looks like crap and you know that you have to move through this in order for you to come out on the other side so I'm still I'm still working with it because there is still hope you know this seems like the darkest part of the tunnel which is always the part before the light so here is hope I won't lie to you, I believe that this is what an obsessed artist looks like. Not, not the painting itself, but the fact that I keep going. And it's, it looks so bad that I, I feel the need to look away. Oh my god. I can't even believe that I'm showing you guys this. And can somebody tell me why those curls are so important to me? You have no idea how much editing I did to cut out all that work on them curls. I put a lot of work into them. And just when you thought it was safe to come out. So I did try this idea before. 
and after comparing the two i felt that this idea was the better of the two and so what i proceeded to do was to you know rework some of the line work because it faded into the paint and so that's what i'm doing here it feels kind of sad <laughs> And to be honest, I'm not sure. Okay, I don't completely hate it, to be honest. I really don't. But I don't like it either. I would really love to hear what you thought of this entire video. It's crazy, right? I can't even believe I show, I'm showing you this. Anyway, thank you for riding this train with me. I appreciate it.